memorabilia. Are you looking for a particular sport today or just kind of browsing? Just kind of browsing? Yeah. I will say, though, the only thing that we're out of, we are pretty much completely out of stock on all football memorabilia. We had a huge sale on all of our football merchandise about two weeks ago, so we kind of cleared out stock. So sorry if you were looking for any football stuff. We should be getting more shipments in those soon within the next couple months, so that's good to know. That's all right. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so the first thing I will show you today is a NBA jersey. And this is a... Swingman Stephen Curry Golden State Warrior Home Jersey. This is a $110 jersey, I think, if you go to buy it off NBA.com. It's the game, like, it's the material that is actually on their jerseys that they wear in games. This is a completely authentic jersey, or the most authentic jersey you can get that is purchasable, I should say. As you can see. And it is a small, so, um, are you a small? You're a medium? Okay, well, I will say that I'm a medium as well, but I fit into a small just fine. This is... A lot bigger than an actual small, in my opinion. Yeah, jerseys can be weird with size, for sure. And as you can see, there's the back. 30 curry. Yeah, no, yeah, this is currently going for 20 bucks. We actually had a guy just bring this in, and uh, he said he bought it back in 2015 when Steph won his first MVP. the resume since 2015 uh, in my opinion the greatest point guard ever yeah I think he's better than magic personally I just I don't know I know that's very unpopular that's a very unpopular opinion I have but I just find it hard to believe that Steph is not better I, I don't know I'm sorry if you disagree story about this book actually because <clears throat> this was mine and I sold it to the store because I needed some money uh, this is currently going for 15 so it's super cheap um, I got this book uh, when I was a younger kid because my dad and I went to a game and my dad got me or a player flipped a puck up to me I think it was David Backus who was the captain of the Blues at the time during warm-ups, he flipped a puck up at, to me, and we think to this day that somebody stole the puck that he flipped up to me, uh, because we got in our car to drive home, and it was gone, and I was devastated. I was like eight or nine, something like that, and uh, my dad wrote a letter to the organization, uh, and Barrett Jackman signed me a puck, so it was pretty much, I got a better reward after losing uh, the puck that I was initially upset over, so it was really cool. Barry Jackman was always such a great guy around the city of St. Louis. And along with that, since we're uh, looking at blue stuff, are you interested in this? You are? Okay, cool. This looks great to display for sure. The uh, 
the next thing I have, this is really, really cool. The 2019 St. Louis Blues Stanley Cup Championship Yearbook. And um, if you do not know about the 2019 St. Louis Blues, well, they ended up winning their first cup in franchise history. At the start of the year, it looked like we were in for a long season. We were terrible. Um, and, you know, we, our chemistry was off. Uh, the team was fighting each other in practice. There were two uh, occurrences of that. And then we fired our head coach and we replaced him with the assistant coach, Craig Berube. And then, um, and then a guy named Jordan Bennington was called up to play goalie because our primary goalie, Jake Allen, was injured. And Bennington pretty much solidified us as a Stanley Cup presence team. It was unbelievable. This is a really cool item. As you can see, if you open it, somebody left their math homework in here. Who could that have been? If you open it, you got a great shot of the city during the break. today. 
this is like awesome, isn't this amazing? Number one. And then he got the Cardinal logo right there. <laughs> 